Hi guys. Hey guys. So, so today, let's let me show you how to make bath bombs. Bath bomb. Exactly. So before we start, let's ask some of the questions of a bath bomb. The first one is, what is a bath bomb? Well, a bath bomb is basically a mixture of many different powders that is extracted in a bath. It fizzes and the other additives this can make the bath relaxing. The bath bomb was first invented in 1989 by someone named Mo Constantine. She and her, her husband was inspired by Alka-Seltzer tablets. Nowadays, means when you find bath bombs, they can be found as spheres and the primary ingredients are baking soda and citric acid. These two are responsible for the foaming. However, your other additives can make the bath soothing, such as coconut oil, Epsom salt, and other essential oils. So, let's see how to make this, this bath bomb. It's not only relaxing, but it's also a very good toy in the bath. Yes. So, well, here's how to make it. So first, get and four tablespoons and one two teaspoons of baking soda. All of it. Not all of it. Okay, so here's the baking soda. No, not now. Okay, now to this add ten tea, ten tablespoons and two teaspoons of, of the bath bomb mix. My. Mm -hmm. Mine in particular contains citric acid, Epsom salt, and cornstarch. Epsom salt is a very good laxative, and because of that, the magnesium ions can help as a supplement. When mixing, be sure to crush all the clumps, since that's going to interfere with the bath bomb making later. You don't spill any, and the bowl must be at least 15 ounces in volume. If it's any smaller, there's a good chance you're going to spill a small amount. Okay, so here is our final mixture. The, way, the reason we crushed it up so finely is to make the baking soda and the citric acid mix well. This will make the bubbling more vigorous. Another thing is that due to increased surface area, the additives and the reaction mixtures will dissolve faster. So here we have our basic bath bomb mixture. So if you can still use this, however, it's not gonna be as exciting. So now we add one teaspoon of coconut oil. Coconut oil. Mm -hmm. Coconut oil. Now when you're when you're doing this be sure to re rub it with your hands or melt it in with a hot water bath or a microwave. This is because coconut oil is actually solid at room temperature unlike a lot of other oils we'll be familiar with. So, it's a good idea to either heat things up with your hand or something else. Like olive oils, they don't, they don't become solid at room temperature. Okay, so now that we have our coconut oil, let's I'll mix start. it. Oh, so sticky. Mm -hmm. It's important that we mix it very thoroughly. The coconut oil must be dispersed evenly. And to do that, heat is required since it'll be, be, it'll be melting. It's very hot to get this, mm -mm, this coconut oil off. We also get 20 to 30 drops of essential oil. Let's see. Get it all together. And to top it off, a small amount of fragrance. This, this is just smell. responsible for the smell. I'm sure that will be enough. Mm -hmm. The smell is quite strong. Okay, now mix it up thoroughly. So now the oil is evenly distributed into the mixture. It looks like snow. Okay, next we add half a teaspoon of water. Now keep mixing and slowly sprinkle the water on top. Mix. It feels more softer. 
keep mixing. Now you will notice bubbling, yeah. but that's not too big of a problem right now. I have a question. Why do we put the water anyway? It's just to help everything get stuck together. After all, we do want it as a shape, not a powder, right? Yep. It's very cold. The water is very cold. It's just ordinary room temperature water. Okay. The reaction then cools down. The, when the citric acid and the baking soda react, the temperature goes lower, so your reaction vessel and reaction mixture will cool down a decent amount. Yep. And also be and careful with this powder. They, they, these guys can, are very sneaky. They can go inside and they your nails. It's okay. You can take them out later. Okay, so now let's go in. Okay, so here is our final mixture. Now, now we have half a tablespoon, half a teaspoon of mica powder. Mica is used because, as a mineral, mica has a shiny appearance. So it makes the a bomb's color, mm -hmm. the explosion color. It's going to. When it, when it goes in the water, it's going to be very cool. Because the water, the water becomes blue. Mm -hmm. I'll just mix this up together. Mm. You think just one more scoop will be enough? No, I actually didn't add a whole. I think we have enough mica for a bath. Mm -hmm. You have enough mica powder. It's turning mm, bluish. Mm -hmm. Even I got the mm -hmm. Your hands will get colored, so don't worry too much. Okay, that was one teaspoon now we mix I know exactly what I can mix this fast yeah that's a good way yeah my, my hand can be used for a lot of things like I'm pushing up sand and like a oh okay and now mix it thoroughly mm -hmm. keep mixing until your mixture has a uniform color Yep, like this. It was white, but now it is blue, like blue snow. Yay, it's blue snow. How is it blue snow? Okay, keep mixing. Yep. If you see any white, keep mixing. Yeah. If you don't see too much white. This is actually a, a bomb. We're going to make the bath bomb later. No one's just here. Actually, this is not going to be like this. Okay, so now get your hands out. Okay. First, let me check for any clumps. No, you, 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 we actually want clumps now. What? So don't break them up. No, don't make them though. Okay, so here is our uniform blue powder. Yep. And this will be the basis for our bath bomb. The next step is to get a spherical mold. Can I do it? You can also use any other shaped mold, but this is a good one. Can you hold it like this? Anyway. Let me put it up. So, if you want, you can also add glitter to the mixture to make it shiny. Shiny! Another thing you can try is to add a small toy to the mix. So, when and you do it, you have to look for the tool and play with it. Of course. Oh no! Huh, why am I spilling so Put much? it on top of the board, like this. Okay, I'll try it like this. Okay, hey, pull, put some on this side. Okay. Okay. The half of it is full. I think it's time for us okay. to do it. So now, give me. Guacamole, Sully. 
Okay, now let's combine them. Combine! Woohoo! See you at one minute. Mm -hmm. All we have to do now is wait one minute for the mixture to solidify. Can I may hold it? Now seal it tightly. Let me, well, meanwhile, I'm going to mix this a little bit more. Okay. So this is our almost finished bath bomb mixture. Let's set it on here and wait. See you in a minute. Bye. Bye. Welcome back. So now it's been a minute and this is our bath bomb. It looks like, like a purple bath bomb, but inside is the bath bomb. So on top of a bowl or some sort of container, carefully open your bottle. You don't want the bath bomb to break. Explode. It's split into two. Yep. Um, okay. Half bomb! This must be called a bath half bomb. It probably would have been better if we let it to solidify for a little longer. Now, let's test our reaction mixture. You put it in first. To I'll test it, let's in. drop it in some water. Don't drop the second half. Ready? Ready. Okay, ready for some foaming? Whoa, as you can see, the reaction is very fast, isn't it? That's a lot of foaming, isn't it? Yep. Let me take it. And it is now I dip my hand in it, and it's considerably colder, meaning that the reaction of soda and citric acid is indeed endothermic. This in other like words, absorbing heat. So the reaction that's occurring in this bath bomb is the reaction between our citric acid from the bath bomb mixture and the baking soda. You see, any weak acid that's a solid at room temperature and a bicarbonate base is used. Citric acid, which is a weak and solid acid, and baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, react together to form sodium citrate, water, and carbon dioxide gas. The sodium citrate dissolves into solution, which is right here, while the CO2 is a gas and escapes as these bubbles. Bubble. My bubble. Mm -hmm. Bubbles, my bubble. So that was how to make a DIY bath bomb. Bath bomb. Thanks for watching and see you in our next videos. Bye. Subscribe and bomb. And like. Dee, dee, boom. Oh.